Hey, lovely people. It's your girl, Kia Simone. I don't know who needs to hear this, but it is okay to protect your peace. You know, sometimes we downplay stuff and I just want to let you know that emotional abuse is abuse. And um, growing up, I was never sexually abused or physically abused. However, you know, there is a thing called emotional abuse. So when you just basically do things to a person to tear up their self-esteem and break them down, that's emotional abuse. So what I'm saying today is when I said I don't know who needs to hear this, it doesn't matter who the person is in your life. You have the right to protect your peace. Because a lot of times we move around and we walk on eggshells so we can allow the people that are hurting, dysfunctional, to continue to abuse us and we're grown. We just get back into the mindset. We become that eight-year-old again, that 10-year-old thinking that we have to allow these people to abuse us because, you know, out of respect for these people. And then, you know, people are so quick to, you know, quote Bible scriptures. Well, you honor thy father, thy mother, thy father. No, that's just a little comeback. So you want to, you know, say, I'm going to abuse you or I, you should be allowing this person to abuse you. So what I mean by that is, you know, don't let someone make you feel guilty for protecting your peace. You can still honor someone, but don't allow them to disturb your mental peace. A lot of people don't know where your mental space is and they want to put you in situations that are not best for you. And then you want to wonder why people are, you know, falling apart because you guys are setting people up for failure because you want to just keep doing the things that do not work. You know, people want you to sit in situations with people that are killing you literally inside they want to say well just let's go here let's hold hands and kumbaya and all that yeah it sounds good and they want to make you feel like you're the bad guy listen again i don't know who needs to hear this but you have the right to protect your peace there's a time to say no more you know i told people we're not about to sit in the room and kumbaya hold hands and sing when that big elephant is in the room let's stop bumping into that elephant and pretending that elephant is not there until we're re ready to address the real problems. And a lot of people honestly need counseling. Okay. Um, a lot of times people are in denial. They want to sit down and just have a conversation. But when you, I mean, come on now, let's just be real. If you've been having the same conversation with the same people over and over and over, and it never gets resolved, that means that you may need an outside soul. Yeah. You need to pray about it and talk to Jesus. Yes, I agree. But sometimes you need an outside person to come in and provide you with the tools that maybe you were not taught. Maybe this was not something that was in your family because maybe there are generational curses that need to be broken. All I'm saying is no one has the right to emotionally abuse you. That doesn't mean that you are a bad person because you want to step aside. You know, sometimes they may call you bougie, stuck up in your feelings all the time. But guess what? You're protecting your peace. So... I highly recommend, number one, put God first in all things. And if you were raised in a situation or an environment where everything was toxic, sometimes you do need to go to an outside counselor or outside person that's credible to help you. So I'm going to go ahead and close. But again, it's okay to protect your peace. Because at the end of the day, you have no one but yourself. You have God and yourself. If you fall apart, those people that are trying to destroy your peace, more than likely they're not going to be there. Again, protect your peace. Deuces for now. Have a good day. Love you guys.